Namaste programs and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is Patagonia Bush Trip 7. Let's get going. You'll remember when you're on this tiny little airstrip on this tiny little island that doesn't seem to have anything on it. It doesn't even seem to be a road out of the airstrip. So what is it doing here? It's just here to cause trouble. All right. 351 for 249. Start our clock. All right, bay opening. Once in the air, make your way north to the opening of the bay, of a bay at the northernmost point of the step, just in the distance. Okay, get our flap up. Keep climbing. Right. Thank you. A white screen can go away now. Thank you very much. Yes, well done. Well done. And another white screen. Yes, yes. Can't get rid of that apparently. All right, let's uh, power down a bit. See how that deals with our climb rate. We need to trim down a bit, maybe 10%. Tank still very much wants to go to the right all the time. But I guess that's just its thing, dude. Navlog has done something weird, so we're going to have to do this. There we go, that'll reset it. Meanwhile, because I clicked off, the plane wants to uh, climb into the upper stratosphere. Let's go minus 15% then, see what happens. Should be fairly close to turning, so this is the point of the step that was just in the distance, but is now right here before our very eyes. flat this part of uh, Patagonia. We're in the mountains and now where are the mountains? Back there I guess. Look at that. Watch out that way. There we go, we're turning to 285 for 3 minutes and 9 seconds. Look at that little island down there. Has it got roads and stuff on it? What's going on? There's no, no civilization over here. Well, there is a road and a, a little place there, a little town just there. All right, 285, reset our clock. Three minutes and nine seconds. We're going to Laguna Cabeza de Mar. Head northwest towards a river opening on the other side of the bay and follow it. The river leads through to a large body of water. On the other side of it, you should see another river opening. Okay. All right. Looking for the rivers. 
So I guess this is the large body of water. On the other side of it, there's a river opening. Really? Is there though? I guess maybe you uh, could sort of see where there might be one on our path. So let's go minus 20 trip. Where's this river opening then? I mean, there's a sort of orangey, greeny, by orange I mean yellowy, greeny patch there, which is probably just an artifact of when the photographs were taken of this part of the world. Not really seeing a river opening though, maybe here? That's a river there. Wait another minute until we should have reached it. Yeah, not much civilization, and maybe some a couple of little tracks and roads there. I'm not seeing any buildings though. Hello? Anyone live here? No? Okay. Good for nature then. There's a big road over here. Oh, there are the mountains off in the distance. Right where we were, I guess. Right. Oh, it's this river opening. Okay, fine. So, uh, 239 for 153. There we go. Overshot it a bit. Reset our clock. We're heading to Road Fork. Turn and head southwest to the western shore of the lake. Or I'll do that. And you see a road on the shoreline that leads to a fork. That I do. There's a tiny little house at the fork. Not much else around here, is there? Oh, tiny fork. Assume you're the fork of which they speak. Little uh, penis looking uh, body of water there. Don't know what's going on there. Someone messing with uh, the satellite images or the aerial images. There we go. Alright, uh, 268 for 2 minutes 12. Reset our clocky wocky Laguna del Toro. Past the fork, heading past the lake, just up ahead, and instead of ma instead making your way back to the lake. Let me start that again. Past the fork, heading past the lake, just up ahead, and instead making your way to the lake beyond, which looks to have bleached white sandy shores. Laguna del Toro. I don't think that was English. Past the fork heading past the lake just up ahead, and instead making your way to the lake beyond. What? And instead what? You have added words or missed words, one or the other. Laguna de Toro, Lake of the Bull. He said, not knowing much Spanish and hoping he's correct. That possibly isn't. That probably is.
Look at this incredible lake with its sandy shores. I assume it was much larger at one point. Although my knowledge of geology is just about as good as my knowledge of Spanish. That is to say, it isn't. Not that that made any sense, but hey. We'll just breeze past that. Dancers for fools. Okay, 231 for 252. There we go, we set our clock, as always. Estancia Entreveo, Vientos. Make your way to the western shore of Laguna del Toro. A little further on from this is a dirt road running south to a small village junction. Estancia Entrevientos. Well, I see a dirt road. And maybe that's a little village over there? Where the dirt road hits the main road? Perhaps what, yeah, well, either here maybe, or maybe this is the village, I don't know. We are heading in between those two things. Estancia Entrevientos. Entre vientos. What's that? A bit of a quarry, maybe? Where are all the golf courses? I miss our Japan trip where every 30 meters was a golf course. Guess that's a little village there. Nothing there. A couple of little uh, farm buildings there, I think. I mean, when you call that a village, I'd probably more say it's just a singular farm, although there is one, maybe 10 or 15 kind of little buildings there, maybe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and when I say 15, maybe more like 9? <laughs> what a cute little village, then. If that is what you can even call such a small thing. Don't, now we should be turning. Yep, okay. 305 for 450. There we go. Reset, start. Via Ponsombi. Follow nearby the road running northwest. It will eventually run along the bank of the estuary just to the west before leading to a small port town via Ponsombi. Alright, 4 minutes 50. Strap in, grab a drink, enjoy the in-flight entertainment of which, let's see, there's not even a magazine. So just look out the window. I'll reset that view in case we need it. We've got a few little houses around the road here, and I mean, not many though. What are y'all doing out this far? Hmm? All y'all? All yous all? All users all? Back towards the Mountainians? Which you'd expect, given that the bush trip was meant to be along the Andes.
Oh, another little village. Look at that. What do you do? What is your... There's no farms around here. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff cleared there in the middle of a forest. That's a little bit odd. Kind of a farm looking thing over there, but not much else. Not much else, people. What are you all doing here? Hmm? Away from civilization so far. I'm sure they're minding their own business, and here I am flying over the top of them, disturbing their peace. Well, such is life, as they say. I mean, these, these look like they're been raked or whatever you call them, tilled. This is farmland. There's like a farmhouse there. Little village on the water there. Middle of F and nowhere really. Huge plain here. God, a gigantic plain really when you think about it. Alright, 3.11 of 4.50, another couple of minutes to go. Hello! What are you all up to down there? Going for a swim in the lake, or the river, whatever you would call that thing there. The water. Bye! A little symbol on the edge of the road there. Carved out. Illuminati symbol. Well, again. For the aliens. That's for the aliens so that they don't lose their way. But where's this v small port town via Ponsonby? Should be arriving within the next couple of minutes. Well, sorry next 20-30 seconds, what I meant to say. I don't see any port town here. Maybe that's it over there? Maybe it's not rendered in yet? Maybe, as always, these instructions have me a good 50 miles from where I'm actually am. There we go, we're turning. Is there a town here? <laughs> Alright, uh, 2.48, no, 2.37 for 3.12. Oh, I was jumping out of myself. Okay, reset clocko. Rio Vaquera. Head rest west across the estuary to the eastern shore of Isla Risco. Make your way west along its northern shoreline. You should eventually pass a river running into the body of water just to the north. Senmo Sky Ring. Carry on west. Senmo Sky Ring. What the fuck is that? West along the northern shoreline, I guess that's sort of what I'm doing. Pass a river running into a body of water. I mean, this is a body of water, right? I mean, it's the same body of water. Where's the other? It says running into the body of water just to the north. Got our phone that's telling us it's uh, time to work. I'm ahead of you. I'm ahead of you, phone. I'm ahead of you. Got a building down there. A couple of little buildings right there. Okay, weird. Very in the middle of nowhere. Definitely no farmland. What are they doing there? Are they fishing? Maybe. 
hiding from the authorities. Right, we're about halfway to this river that has an exit to a body of water to the north, which, you know, there's the north there, so that's the body of water. It's acting like this body of water is some kind of new body of water that we haven't seen before. Unless there's a lake in the middle of this little area. I know not of what you speak of, instructions. And we're turning, are we? Already. Okay, 2.37. Uh, no, 2.48 now for 2 minutes and 6 seconds. I don't know where this body of water is, or river, for that matter. Reset the clock, start her up again. Orio Palos, as you continue down the shore, you'll pass another river feeding into Seno Skyring. Orio Palos. Now, what, was there a river down here? Not that I can see. I mean, there might be a small little creek or something heading into the water there somewhere. Alright, well we'll see if we see this next river. I guess this is the Senno Skyring. In about a minute and a half, we should see another river heading into, that leads into the water. a river there and a couple of little houses on the end of the river at the water there so maybe that's what it's talking about oh, there's another river there there are rivers that go into the water Lots of little rivers and lakes and things just hidden underneath all of this. Out of another little town, well, you know, a couple of houses on the river and the lake. Or is this a, a river? See, that's not a river, that's a creek as far as I'm concerned. You wouldn't call that a river. How dare you call it the Rio Palos? It's not a mighty river, it's just a prickle of water. should be turning soon. We await the purple lines, a judgment on the facts. Here we go. 273 for 3 minutes 54. Estancia Rocalosa. Continue westwards towards the shoreline outcropping where you're where the road you're following will peter out. Here you should find a small farm. Right, well we've seen some small farms and you'll be calling them towns, so what the fuck is going to be a small farm? But not for another three of well, another three minutes, really. We'll see this small farm in inverted commas. Ooh, what's going on with those clouds over there? Is that rain? I do think it's meant to be live weather. Um, it's definitely not live time because you always take off at the same time. moment we're at 10.53 local time so that does not match anything to what time it actually is in the real world all right halfway there to this mythical small farm
not even sort of seeing anything farm-like in the distance, you know, like fields and whatnot. But we will trust in the instructions. Crazy little holes in the in the forest canopy there. I assume they're basically little hills, but they look lower than the stuff around them, so who knows? Maybe they're areas that were burnt? Or just bad soil? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I need a geologist to tell me all these stuffs. Alright, we're about 40 seconds away from alleged farms. I don't see any goddamn farms. Oh, this mountain snuck up on me. I didn't even really notice we were getting up higher. There we go, look at that. Look at the mountains. Isn't it lovely? Covered in snow. Which they might very well be at the moment. Alright, we're turning already. Where's this farm? Don't see it. Okay, uh, 2.31 for 7 minutes 14. want to climb obviously all right seven minutes wow okay we're heading to cluster of islands make your way down the shoreline well going over the mountains apparently eventually as you head southwest along the coastline you should see an archipelago in the distance what I see is a mountain range so let's try and get over it If I could climb I head into these clouds too. Maybe they'll clean off the bird shit. Out of our road, you cl you you clown. I'll call you clown, even though I meant cloud. Clown sounds funny. He's the clown cloud. What's going on at the top over here. Is there actually some civilization there, or is that just what it looks like? Yeah, weird. Weird, I tells you. Actually, that's not a road. That is a river. Secret military installation, where the uh, where the aliens are kept, I reckon. Flying through the clouds. Kinda, not really. Only just. Valley there, completely untouched by human civilization, isn't it? Spectacular! Look at that, amazing. Imagine just going for a hike through there, down to the lake, in amongst the mountains. Awesome! Oh, so busy looking at that. I've gone completely off course. Where are these archipelagos of islands? Over here. And they're always just miles away to the left of where I feel like we it thinks we should be. Anyway, don't know what the issue there is. Don't know whether it's something I'm doing wrong or whether it's just a 
slight miscalculation with all of the instructions, but we can deal with it. We'll live with it. No, oh, it's getting very dark. It may very well rain. Or snow. Not sure if we're in snow season just yet. In this part of the world. Probably. We are middle of November, so basically winter already. And we're up pretty high. Alright, we've done four minutes of the seven. Another huge valley here. I'm going to say it looks like something out of Jurassic Park, but of course that was filmed in this part of the world. Some island off Costa Rica, I believe. Which can't possibly be that far away, can it? Again, my geology and my Spanish and my geography are all basically on the same level of zero. So, I may have a little bit of knowledge derived from useless pop culture and movie trivia, but who could rely on that? not to love about it all. Enjoy nature's splendor. With all its happy little trees. Sorry about the silence there, just had to uh, navigate my grandmother coming home from having, in quotes, lunch downstairs, which basically means she ate a couple of mouthfuls of something and drank a whole heap of uh, wine, or champagne probably, which is all fine by me, 97, she do whatever the fuck she wants, but um, yeah, she was also basically screaming into my microphone, so let's go, 2.38 for 2 minutes and 2 seconds now. And we're going to, oh, this is the archipelago over here, Isla Grande South, make your way past the islands and continue onwards towards the southernmost point of the large island just to the north of you, Isla Grande. And I suspect it thinks I'm over there somewhere, but we must follow the line. The purple line is following the instructions, or the heading instructions anyway. So if the text doesn't match, well, the text gets ignored. So, I guess, uh, Big Island, Isla Grande, creatively named. we don't need to be climbing anymore so there are still plenty of mountainous uh, things ahead see where we end up
and make a decision accordingly. Look at the bay over there with its reflections. Ah, that looks fantastic. We should be turning very shortly. To our right. But again, we must always wait for the permission of the purple line. There we go, 277 for 3 minutes and 2 seconds. is the Isco Mountains. Just to the west of Isla Grande is another archipelago. Make your way northwest, following your heading over the archipelago and towards the shoreline of the mountains ahead of you. Okay. I think we'll be turning before we hit those mountains because oh, we're probably just high enough. I don't think we're crossing the mountains. I think we're heading off over that way somewhere. But we will see. Inlets. Fantastic. Truly beautiful. Oh, halfway there. Well, maybe another minute of the three. Just do a sneaky little bit of climbing, just in case it doesn't turn us off in time, although I think it will. Maybe not. I've got a minute to go before it's meant to turn. Let's uh, try our best to follow the, uh, the instructions, the heading. Putting us straight to the tallest point of the fucking mountain, of course. Come on, we should be turning in the next few seconds. Please, purple line, give me the permission to turn. We're just gonna make it, I think. Yes, no problemo. Over the mountain. Another inlet down here. Is that water or is that... yeah, I think it's meant to be water, but it might be rendered in as trees for some reason. Still haven't turned. Why haven't we turned? Wow. Well, purple loan... purple loan... purple line knows best. There we go, wow, good thing I climbed because, yeah, we didn't turn before that mountain. So, 3.22 for 2 minutes 8 seconds. 
over another mountain. Taking the piss now. We're heading to Punta del Norte. Adjust to head further northwest and head to the shoreline at the foot of the mountain up here. End of end of instructions. And Punta del Norte is that bridge of the north north bridge? Is there a bridge down here somewhere? In one minute thirty seconds? I don't think so. What's it a bridge over? Another minute and we should be arriving to get Punta del Norte. Oh, look at these cliffs, wow. See a mountain. I don't see any bridges. No. I guess. I guess it knows more than what I'm seeing. I don't know. I don't know what it's referring to. We we'll just have to accept it. Maybe the mountain's called North Bridge. There we go. We're turning 295. The three minutes and seven seconds. Estuario Huemu. Head northwest along the shoreline ahead, passing over multiple bays and inlets as you go. Make your way to the end of the shoreline where you will find a hook light outcropping. Again, I think it thinks I'm over there somewhere, but hey. We'll just allow it. We'll accept it. See if we can find a hook like outcropping over there somewhere. Spectacular scenery. Champagne comedy. I don't see no hook like outcropping that we'll run into in two minutes. behind this mountain. Suffice to say, this one, this leg is a gigantic one. I don't know why they're doing such long legs. I guess there just wasn't an airport nearby. But it is what it is. It needs to be done in order to get to the next leg. So, I mean, the, the ETE at the top here, which I don't know if it's correct or not, it's saying 78 minutes total. So, 
We've done probably 45 minutes or so. There's still a long way to go. I hope you're nice and relaxed, enjoying the scenery. So the hook like outcropping, maybe that's it over there. Ah, oh, we've turned. Cool. 330 for 347. We're heading to Estero Obstruction. Burn further north and head past the eastern side of the peninsula just ahead. From there, pass the two small islands in the distance and make your way to the valley beyond the shoreline. Head through the valley to the opposite shoreline. I mean, what? What, I say? What? Eastern side of the peninsula. So, alright, we're on the eastern side. No, actually not. We're on the western side of the peninsula. Two small islands in the distance. Do what they're referring to there, and head through the valley opposite. Honestly, none of it makes sense. All we can do is trust in the headings. Very photoshopped shaped thing there. What's that all about? Hmm? That's not natural. Shenanigans. Alien shenanigans. Another minute to Estero Obstruction, valley on the opposite shoreline of two little islands. I mean, I don't know what on earth they were referring to there. I mean, there's two little islands there, maybe. Valley beyond, that would be over there. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Valley Beyond. Maybe that's the peninsula they were talking? I don't know. There's probably a thousand small, two small little islands around here. A million. Oh, yeah, it's got a green sludge hill. What happened to you, hill? What did the algorithm do to you? You must have said something about his mother. The mother was a cron job. Well, 
Well, by my reckoning, we should have turned by now, but uh, we are heading into the valley beyond those two small islands, if that's indeed the islands they were referring to. We turned 30 seconds ago, but Purple Lion's not having it. It's not having it. It wants me to go all the way into wherever we are here. We're now a minute further than was suggested. It's not like we're going slow, we're, we're well into our first speed. This is the valley, I think, it wanted us to be in. Given that the next turn is rather severely to the right, I need to get up higher, I think. There's a mountain in the road to our right. It's lost its damn mind. We're now nearly two minutes past when we should have turned. We just turn anyway then, because this is obviously lost its... I'm going to do it. 0.45 for 2 minute 47. Purple line's just given up. Yeah, end of shoreline. Make your way northeast up the channel. See, I should be well over to the right. Follow the shoreline along until you reach its end where it will turn off towards the southeast. At this point, head northwest. So, we need to be heading down that channel over there. Grey purple line, I have decided you have failed me for the last time. Oh, there we go, now it's turned. Why? Oh, no, I see, you think you're over here now. You know what, I'm even going to just keep heading towards that channel, because that's where I'm supposed to be. I'm beginning to suspect that the purple line just does strange things. That it just basically, when you hit a certain point, it just says, hey, the next is 45, even if we're not in the right direct spot, so... Right now, I don't know what the timings are. I need to get to the end of the shoreline, where it turns southeast. I think that's over here somewhere. start heading towards over there. I think I'm going to use that point there on my nose right now as where we turn. Even though it doesn't actually make match the instructions. So I'm probably completely lost. At least the purple line is sort of similar to where we are. going to have to start taking off, circling around, making sure I'm at full speed, going over the runway in the right direction and then starting the clock and see if that helps with this purple line's always miles off to the left or right. But I did do some experiments on one of the legs where I felt certain that the purple line didn't really match what the headings were, it just took you to the next point in space. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's sort of wherever you meant to turn, it's sort of... It just 
it says 45 and if you're left of where you need to be you'll stay left of it hmm it's an interesting question up with purple line and going along the channel. I think we're going to just have to rely on the purple line again because I have no idea what timings I needed. It was 2.47 but I feel like I went off in the wrong direction for a while. Longer than I should have. Because purple line didn't want to move. The recalcitrant. The next instruction is to cross the channel and then there'll be a lake. I don't know about that exactly. Well, actually, from here we're going across a channel. Hmm, don't know. I guess we're stuck following the purple line, and the purple line doesn't seem to be making any sense. Except it is facing the right way, according to the headings. Why are the longer trips the ones with the, the most uh, problems with them? Huh? A sobo? I'm guessing because no one bothered to sit down for 78 minutes to test this. This to me is the end of the shoreline. And it'll say it turns off to the southeast. I guess that sort of heads off to the southeast. Maybe. Or no. Maybe that's a channel turning off. I don't think it is. The next turn is going to be 304, which is in this direction. Which is a massive, almost 180 left turn. I'm just going to do the science now. Let's just see if uh, see if the purple line ever moves ever again, or whether we just keep flying till we run out of fuel. Why are all these uh, islands so blocky? Hmm. What's happened there? Oh my god, we've actually turned. Alright, well, 304. Or 1 minute 23. That's the weird part of it. Not very far. And yeah, basically back the way we were coming. What is this bush trip? Okay. We're heading to Lake, headed directly across the channel to the opposite shoreline. What's that mean? Just beyond the shoreline is a lake that carpets the base of the valley it passes through. Okay. Again, it doesn't match what I'm seeing, but it is. I am following the headings I'm surprised to, just not the timings right now. Oh, now we're 3.11. Oh, that's the next one. Okay. For 3 minutes 34. I didn't see a lake. Forest shoreline. Head across the lake and make your way to its opposite shore. From here, make your way through the valley towards the mountain in the distance to the northwest. You should see a thick brush of trees just before the base of the mountain. Once past this, head further north over the hills and travel the short distance to the shoreline. You should see an outcropping ahead of you just off the shoreline. Head past that and you should see an island just to the northeast. Make your way there. What? What? That's a lot of instructions.
blown around here as well. well that's not helping anything. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I'm meant to be heading to a, f a shoreline at the edge of a forest, which I guess this shoreline up ahead almost qualifies, given that all the shorelines are on the edge of a forest around here. I was going to look, where was this lake? Uh, is that a lake tiny down there maybe? No, I don't think so. But... Oh well, who knows what they are on about. Who knows what they were on about. I mean, these are a couple of the lakes here. No, yeah, there's a bit of a forest here. We've just gone over a mountain. We've been outcropping just off the shoreline there is an outcropping head past that you see an island to the northeast northeast i mean okay that's off to the right make your way there so i guess once we've hit this shoreline then we're turning to some island to the northeast Fair enough. I guess, and that trip is uh, the next one is uh, five minutes thirty-seven. So it's not an island that's nearby. Oh wait, is this the island to the northeast of the? Well, that's not an outcropping. I guess it is. All right. Anyway, who the fuck knows? Zero zero two for five minutes thirty-seven. Okay, start our clock. Mountainous outcropping. You should see an outcropping ahead of you just off the shoreline. Head past that and an island just to the northeast. Just northeast and follow the channel ahead. Eventually, as the channel bends and takes you further northeast, you should see a mountainous outcropping on the eastern side of the channel. Make your way there. But I guess we're following this channel, that makes sense, and this is the mountainous outcropping? Possibly. Uh, anyway, it's 5 minutes 37, so strap in and enjoy the serenity. One and a half minutes of five and a half minutes done.
and a half minutes of five and a half minutes done. What's going on over there? A bit of a lake or something the algorithm has spotted? Almost looks like a swimming pool or something. Who knows? Might just be a bit of snow. Yes, it was probably just a bit of snow. Is this a mountain that's outcropping into the into the channel here coming up on my nose now? May very well be. We are two minutes away. That looks about right to me. Somehow we've managed to match everything up now, even though the timings are still a little bit weird. Either that, or we found a couple of areas that were ex exactly as described that aren't the exact spot. Who knows? We'll find out when we try and find the airport at the end of this. 80 minute flight. A little bit obnoxious, the Sobo. Couldn't you have found a way to break these up a bit? Hmm, couldn't you have? I ask you. Definitely heading towards this outcropping here, which perhaps qualifies as a mountainous outcropping. I'm not sure exactly what the definition of a mountainous outcropping. I mean, this is more of a hilly outcropping. These are mountains here. Well, that ain't a mountain. That's a little baby mountain. Oh, what a cute little baby mountain. Well, we've done 5 minutes 15, so we might be going a bit slow. Not going to quite hit the outcropping in the next 20 seconds. But we will thrust in purple line. I'm sorry I distrusted you earlier, Purple Line. I'm glad you've come back to me as friends. through 6 minutes 10 of 5 minutes 37 so yes we're still reliant on the purple line I think the issue is there is a headwind so even though I'm at 115 knots I think I mean true airspeed is 118 does that mean that well, to me would be tailwind surely or it's like the plane itself is basically here we go we're turning finally all right 0 0.42 for three minutes 14 rio linacra head to the bay beyond the outcropping fly over the bay into another channel Keep heading northeast to the shoreline opposite where you should see a river cutting a path down between two mountains into the channel. Alright. So that's another channel over there. This is the bay. Let's guess this is the Rio Linac Linacra. Linacre. The Rio Linacre. You can't say it in it. Properly, might as well just butcher it even more. Oh, 
Well, it looks like we're back on the path. Things are making sense at last. Hmm. Not much more to say, is there really? 80 minute flight? A little bit obnoxious if you ask me. Which I didn't, and I already said, so... I should have, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I've got, I've got to record this anyway, and got to actually fly it anyway. So even if it had said, hey, this is going to be a, an hour and a half flight, um, I would have still done it. So probably good that I didn't notice that. Pleasant surprise that we're flying for so long. these are nav points you know like radio beacons or something that it's following because it's such a weird uh, you know because we were over here before we were over here we could have just come straight up here instead we did a sort of loop around all these mountains I mean it's a bit of a touristy thing I guess but I also wonder whether it's about following certain uh, navigational aids This is Rio La Negra. Seems to cutting a path between two mountains. Seems to fit the bill. Should, by ETE standards, be turning fairly soon. But again, I think we're a bit slow because we're struggling through the air. Look at that river. Onto a little beach. Is that like a... Almost looks like there's like... The fields cut out there or something. Anyway, we're turning a 356 of a 348. Okay, forest outcropping. Follow the shoreline as it bends north. Check. Make your way to the northernmost point, a forest outcropping. Adjust and head east. Okay, well, um... Can't see the forest on that outcropping just yet. Look at this body of water. Unbelievable. It's gigantic. I'm still not sure whether we're on the sea. Or whether this is actually just lakes up in the mountains. It must be the sea. I can't. I, I, these couldn't be lakes, could it? I think, you know, this is sea level. But, yeah. Must be the sea. I'll need to look it up on Google Maps or something. Yeah, definitely. Definitely coastal. We did have some large lakes earlier on in the trip, but um, I think this is just the sea. I'd be completely wrong about that. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm a bit concerned. I didn't figure out why the engine stopped 
on the last trip, if it, or the trip before it, whenever it was. I just wonder whether it was 50% fuel. I meant to, you know, switch fuels or something. Anything obviously about changing fuel? Oh. Does nothing. Usable fuel. Ah. What's ER ELT? Oh, that's just a emergency thing. Fine, anyway, let's get back on course. <laughs> I could hear. I could hear that we were off course. Fortunately, we didn't plow into anything or go so fast that we ripped our. Uh... Oh, we've actually changed as well. So apparently, we've already hit the forest outcropping. So three fifty. Oh, no, 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 it was 356. I for some reason thought it was zero or something. No, yeah, no, we're still going. We're still going, don't panic. Don't panic, I'm so busy looking for a fuel thing. And uh, so what I'm going to do is refuel. Just because I'm not sure whether it was like 50% fuel that it cut out and I was meant to somehow find ultimate fuel. Uh, I don't know the plane well enough. And given that this leg is 80 fucking minutes, I don't want to be running out of fuel and failing it with that. So, although it didn't fail that last time, I don't want to take any chances. Look at this just beautiful forest outcropping with its beaches. Lovely. It's fantastic. No, no roads, no jetties, no nothing. It's just no one uses this area. It's good to see. It'll all be covered in skyscrapers in a thousand years. We all know that. Everyone knows that. If we make it that far. Or else everything will be covered in forest. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, 074 for 3 minutes and 1 second. Okie dokie. Rio Hollenberg, make your way to the bay in the distance and follow it around north until you find a road running along the shoreline. Shush fire. Follow the road until it bridges a river running west. Okay. Alright, well. Kick back. Another three minutes this way. Or road. That alarm is to remind me I have an appointment five minutes away in 30 minutes so let's hope we can get this and land it in that time we are pretty close there's just two more segments before we arrive at the airport so three minutes plus seven minutes plus two minutes nine minutes it should be ten minutes with landing we shall see we are now on a clock Thought I had plenty of time to get a bush trip done before my appointment. Didn't look closely enough at 78 minutes. Estimated time. You are madness. Oh. Way in the distance. Followed around north. One of to the left. Until you find a road. Okay. Well, we've got to get to the bay first, apparently.
I'm not seeing any roads. Oh, maybe yeah, there's a road there. Maybe a road along the shore as well. Maybe that's a uh, bridge right there on a river that, that goes through to the lake from this bay here. Oh, I think there's a bridge there next to that little, what should you call it, town, house, rest stop. First bit of civilization we've seen in the last million years. Must be the Hollenberg River, and that must be the bridge that goes over it that has been mentioned, alright? We should turn when we're just about above it. Actually, it's some kind of factory. There you go. Nice little river to dump all your uh, industrial goods in. Here we go, we're turning. Industrial waste, I meant to say. 3.38 for 4 minutes and 41 seconds. Puerto Natales, continuing on the road on the shoreline as you pass over the vast Patagonian steppes. The road will eventually lead you into the city of Puerto Natales. Okay, look at this. Is, is this what you call steps? A, a, a valley, a, um, a plain, a flat? I would have thought steps were like hills and things, but I'm not sure. I've never had to use that word, steps. S-T-E-P-P-S S-T-E-P-P-E-S I should have said Anyway, four and a half minutes we should be arriving at the town the city even it says Could be it on that outcropping up, up there it sort of seems like there's a change in colour in the landscape but Quite sure, but it's still a bit too far to make it out completely. A little bit of roads and paths scratched in here, I don't know why. A little bit of a mine, maybe, or a... I don't know. A white dot there. Don't know what that is. It's also got, at the end of a scratching of... Probably a, a waste dump. People just wander along there, chuck all their junk. And there's a lot of white little specks there in this sort of field here, so maybe that is where it is. It's a... Hidden away in the middle of the forest, only seen to the air. A junkyard. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. It's probably completely not true. It's almost certainly completely not true. But when has that ever stopped us from rambling, huh? There we go, I see a city. Another couple of minutes and we should be for the final turn. It's the final turn. Puerto Natales. What does that mean? Does that mean birth port or something? Is Natal like a baby port? I don't know. What Natal meant baby? Maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. Best not to make guesses about these things. Maybe it was just some dude named Natales, and they named the port after him. Assuming Puerto is port, and that's again, another guess. I don't speak Spanish. I'm, I'm guessing from the Latin roots. If it's Puerto, and port in French, and port in English, 
that it's the same word, but I could be completely utterly wrong. Alright, another minute before we should turn, but um, may not. May need to be above the city before the purple line will... Uh, We zoom this out a bit. We're heading to SCNT. There it is. It's pretty much straight ahead. An actual airport. Civilization at last. After all this time. Another 30 seconds or so. Strange little gritty city in the middle of kind of nowhere. Everyone's clustered together, no big buildings, just flat, flat, flat. The cities look so weird from from above, don't they? You know, it's just sort of like when you're down there, it'll feel huge. There'd be, you know, you couldn't see more than a couple of streets because there'd be buildings in the road. But from up here, it just looks like it's all open space. Got their football stadium. They've got a couple of uh, warehouses on the docks there, maybe a mall there, and that's about it really. Amazing. All right, 328 for 212 uh, to the airport. Here's to the airport. Puerto Natales Airport. A short distance northeast of Puerto Natales, further along the shoreline is Puerto Natales Airport. You can land here. Why, thank you for the permission. I appreciate it. The real question is, where exactly? Yeah, that's it there. I think we can actually even uh, start slowing down. That flashing light is the end of the runway. Get our flaps down. Okay, we can start doing that. Yeah, I think we're coming in a little bit slow, so we'll speed up just a bit. to the end, perpendicular to the runway, it's ready to turn, shorter than I thought it was from the picture which makes it look extremely long and start turning in fact we'll go to cockpit view Maybe a bit early. Five hundred. Thank you, plane. Appreciate it. Good enough, we're actually a little bit high, but that's fine. 
just land a little bit further down the runway than is necessary. Maybe not too bad to be honest. Get our wheels down. Come on, plane. Don't complain. Don't complain, plane. All right, same on the brakes. Too much, so otherwise we'll tip forward. And yes, one hour and a half. Good lord, that was a bloody journey and a half. Um, I've got an appointment to go to, so I will catch you for the next one. That was leg seven of the Patagonia bush trip. I'll see you next time. Au revoir. Goodbye.